I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make a pineapple upside down cake. It's so much easier than you think and you're going to be able to put it together so quickly and it's going to be delicious. Let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. You're going to need a fresh pineapple or you can use canned, all-purpose flour, sugar, sour cream, brown sugar, unsalted butter at room temperature, baking powder, salt, a little bit more butter, an egg, some water, maraschino cherries, and pure vanilla extract. So it's not like crazy ingredients, but yeah, a lot of people always say, oh my gosh, I don't know how to make it. It looks so complicated. It's really, really not. And I'm going to show you how today. So the first thing you want to do is get your oven nice and hot to 350. That's ready. I also have a nine inch cake pan here with some nonstick cooking spray in it, but we're going to get to that in a minute. Now, since pineapples are in season, I'm a huge in season buyer junkie. I love to buy in season and cook in season. And this pineapple was a dollar. A canned pineapple is like two something. And like, why would I opt for a canned one when I can have a fresh one? In season, nice and sweet. Now, a lot of people ask me, what do you look for when you buy a fresh pineapple? Because you can't exactly like get in there and look at it and you can't press it. So you, it's butt, like, like I like to call it. You gotta sniff it. And if it smells like pineapple, if it smells sweet, it's going to taste exactly like it. So it's corny and it's quirky as that sound sounds, it works. Now to cut it, you just take the top right off and you just twist it with a lot of arm muscles. If it doesn't come off really easily, you can just cut it off just like that. That's the inside of the pineapple. We don't need any more of that. You want to cut the bottom. just like so. It smells so sweet and delicious. I know it's gonna taste so sweet and delicious. Now, taking a big knife like this, you just wanna cut the skin right off because we can't peel it or anything because it's so thick. So you just wanna cut around the eyes is what it's called. Here we go. Now, I don't have an apple core, whatever it's called to get the core out. So I'm just gonna cut it into thick slices like so using a small paring knife because like I said, I don't have a special tool for it. I can't seem to find one anywhere. Just remove the tough core in the center. Okay, I have four, that's plenty. I'm gonna set that aside and to this, I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna place it into the oven until the butter literally just melts. Now that we have the butter nice and melted, it just literally takes I don't know, about 30 seconds in the hot oven. We're gonna sprinkle the bottom of this with the brown sugar. And I know this looks crazy, but just trust me, it works. It makes like a really sticky little caramel, or caramel, all over it. And also a tablespoon of water. Just gonna take that, kinda mix it. Perfect. Now to this, I'm going to add the pineapple that I cut up. Four slices should be perfect. Looks like it is. I'm gonna have to fix this up, perfect. Now to that, I'm going to add some maraschino cherries, whoops. You can add as much or as little as you want. I do like to add a couple around the edges because when I flip it, I wanna really be able to see the maraschino cherries. Now set that aside so we can make our batter. I'm gonna just gonna make it in a large bowl, which is a regular whisk and a spatula. And you wanna use about a quarter cup of unsalted butter. To that, we're gonna add our sugar, regular granulated sugar. And we're just gonna mix this together until we have the sugar and the butter combined. That's perfect. Now we're gonna add in our egg. And then we're gonna add it, this is gonna go all at once, all of our wet ingredients at once. We're gonna add some vanilla. We're also going to add our sour cream. Now, sour cream is what makes this cake incredibly moist. But if you can't get sour cream, you can just use like regular whole milk. Um, I can't tell you that it's going to be as moist, but it'll still be delicious and you'll still be able to get away with it. So just mix it until it's all mixed together. To that, we're going to add our flour, baking powder, and our baking and our salt. <laughs> and baking salt. And just mix this until the batter is nice and combined. This is exactly what the batter should look like, nice and thick. And now we're just going to spoon it on top of our pineapple and brown sugar mixture. You just want to take the time to 
kind of level it out and make sure it's all the same thickness because otherwise it will not cook evenly. This is perfect. Now this is going to go into your preheated oven, 350, for 30 to 35 minutes. You want to take a toothpick, insert it into the middle. If the cake part comes out dry, it's perfect. Now you're going to let it sit for 5 minutes and then we're going to finish it off together. My cake baked for 35 minutes exactly and it's perfect and perfectly cooked. I let it cool for 5 minutes, just 5 minutes. You don't want to let it cook too much, otherwise the caramel will harden and it will stick to the pan. We don't want that. So now using the butter knife, I'm just going around the sides of the pan to kind of loosen the cake, just like that. And now here's what we're going to do. Taking a plate, a large plate, okay. Now this is still a little bit warm, you might want to wait until it gets a little bit cooler for you, but this will work. Ready? One, two. Tap it. Dun, dun, da, da. And the angels of desserts have beautiful sound. Doesn't that smell? Isn't, doesn't that smell like you can smell it? But we probably can because it smells so good. <sighs> that, just so you know, is what I'm going to be picking at in the next 30 minutes. That right there, that right there, that right there, and that right there. It's all going to be mine because this that's my favorite part. It's sticky, it's caramel. It's sweet, oh, it's so good. As tempting as this is to cut into it right now, it'll be a huge mistake. It's way too hot, it'll kind of fall apart a little bit, so wait 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, it's perfect with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. You can't get any better than that. So that's about it, pineapple upside down cake. You know, after watching this, you're probably thinking, that's it, that's how you make upside down pineapple cake, and guess what, it is. So get in your kitchen, well, first of all, Go to my website at www.laurainyourkitchen.com and get the full recipe for it. Then get in your kitchen and make this. It smells divine and you won't impress anybody with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with me. Now, again, to get this recipe and plenty other recipes, www.laurainyourkitchen.com is where they're at. I'll see you next time. Bye!